Uh, they crossed when Ferguson took the catch. Uh, Breslin took the catch to get rid of Ferguson, so she keeps on strike. Tommy Cooper is the new man to the wicket. The final ball of the spell for Reed. Just need to almost consolidate a little bit, Junior, because they've got a really good platform now, yeah, thanks that, to Stokes. That was bad timing, that wicket, because Ferguson is the man to accelerate. Shaqib only just at the crease. Bottom edge and straight to first slip along the ground. End of Reed spell. Not a bad one. One for 32. Copped a bit of stick off Stokes, but pretty good otherwise. The Renegades are four for 121 off 14 overs. The next three matches in the magnificent KFC Big Bash. The Scorchers versus the Heat. It's over in WA tomorrow. Then Sydney Thunder versus the Hurricanes. It's spotless. So get to spotless. It's a great round to watch any sport. Boutique atmosphere. So it'll be a wonderful place to go and watch the Thunder in action. Then the Stars versus the Renegade on Saturday night at the G. You know Spotless Stadium, June. Uh, a lot of people saying good things about it. Yeah, look, cricket. First game of cricket at Spotless Stadium, but great little atmosphere. GWS play their AFL there. Um, so a drop in pitch and Thunder. Big game for them. So looking forward to a packed house there. Small stadium, about 25,000. Cameron Boyce comes back in the attack. Cooper's away, first up. Well, let's have a look at what the target should be. 10 per hour from here will get the Renegades to 180. That's got to be their target. This is a pretty good batting track. In and on, over. Boise. 8 and over 170. And that's somewhere between there. And as you said, um, just losing Ferguson at that particular time, especially when he just basically watched um, Stoke and the wonderful work on um, which he was getting done. Just wrong timing for, for him yeah, to, was, to, yeah. have, um, to have gotten out at that particular time. It's a good catch though that got him. It yep. wasn't a terrible shot, but it's the timing not there for Ferguson. And Cooper's a good player, he's a good worker of the ball, particularly against spin. Oh, oh. Not for two there, well placed. That feels pretty quick as well. It's nice and green, but it does run very quickly. This is a great opportunity for, for the fielding team now, especially with the two danger men out or back in the hatch, for them to, to at least put some respectability back into to, 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 to the innings now. Average score batting first at Blundstone is 170. We're hoping to get in front of that. Well, Aiden over gets them to exactly that, 169. Here, boys. You're well in the game. If you get round 170, 160, 180, you're always in the game if you're batting first. If you bowl well enough. You bowl a heap of pies and you're not going to win, are you? Bowl down! Well, they will be tested. Oh, we yes, talked about yes. the fact that they're both West Indians and Patterson, who have taken 11 wickets between them, aren't here, so... We've well, got Siddle and Remington probably with the new ball, uh, Winter. We've got the spin of Ahmed. You'd have to throw Stokes the ball to form easy. Stokes. Yeah. That's a beautiful little late cut. Two again. So, not a bad over from Cameron Boyce. Just a six off, four for 127. It's the number one game show that just keeps giving. Tell me something you'd like to receive a gift voucher for. Uh oh. <laughs> but there's one answer that has the whole studio in stitches. That's pretty out there. <laughs> Can you guess what it is? New Family Feud, 6 o'clock tomorrow on 10. The local crowd was silenced by an amazing innings from Stokes. He's since departed. They're 4th, 127 after 15. So Viv Richards has a spell and Damien Fleming rejoins us. You heard that conversation about Viv saying so never felt the need to wear no, but I've, I saw it. You like my no, I was watching colour? TV. You like my off-colour flame? What do you mean? <laughs> no, that was amazing. A jealousy. whole career, wasn't it? Don't be jealous. No helmet. Did you ever play first-class cricket? No helmet. Uh, no. By the mid-80s, it was pretty much I regulation. I did think about taking it? off on a face due, though. Hilfenhouse Hil Hil is back into the attack. And that's when I just sent you back to the dressing rooms. Jerry Seinfeld <laughs> continues. Oh, that's a slow one down leg side. That's well played by Shaqib. He's got it very fine. He took full advantage. Not a great delivery first up from Hilfie. The slower ball, but he just dragged it straight down. 
no, you'd be better off bowling a quick Yorker, wouldn't you, first up? Yeah, it's, and bowling the quick one first up, it just gets you through the crease. The, the slower ball's probably one later in the over once you've trained them for a bit of extra zing. And you, you tend to drop your action a little bit with the slow ball. Your I front so. arm tends to, you know, drop away, and that's that's why I dragged it down. You've got to bowl your variation. I like the bouncer. Gets you through the crease as well. Oh, he's hit that well. Only be a single. What about Stokes' was batting? Flemmy wow. went on while he was batting. Yeah, I was watching. That. <laughs> that was unbelievable, wasn't it? And the, the debate about the World Cup squad, and, you know, he doesn't average a lot in for England in one-day cricket. I think it's 15 with 150, but I, I saw his uh, 50 over cricket for Durham in 2014. He averaged 58 in 10 games and scored 200s. A highest score of 164. And with his record in Australia last summer, well, they must have given a lot of thought. And such a handy bowler as well. You would have thought they could have slid him into the 15 somewhere. But to come off no cricket, and hit, you're coming into the middle of a tournament. He's been playing Sri Lanka. Oh, Sri Lanka yeah. one day's, yeah. Cooper chips straight to mid-wicket. And there's another wicket gone. George takes his second catch for the night. And Milford House picks up his third wicket. Well, the slow ball works this time. He got it up and it's stuck on the pitch a little bit. And George Bailey takes another good catch, this time diving forward after the catch where he had to run back and get rid of Stokes. Slow ball on the Bunnings yeah. warehouse. Not, not much of a shot from Cooper. Replay, yep. But uh, the second one he's tried, and this one was a lot fuller, which is always a better option, but no power. There was no pace to work with. Another good catch by a Hurricanes fielder. Bailey takes the catch. 15 and a half done. Five for 132. Cooper's gone for five. In 2015.